Look at all those beautiful creatures. Just wanted to share this uh, aquarium with you all. This has nothing to do with Tom's gold dirt, but uh, it's, uh, it's a hobby of mine, and uh, my children love it. And uh, as you can see, we've got some quarry cats, got a skunk back loach in there. We've got two angelfish, various uh, species and, and mods of uh, danios, and then we've got the neon tetras, pink and a blue and three guppies so we got quite a quite a good uh, mix of tropical fish there and they are beautiful tons of fun to watch especially that skunk back loach as you can see he just goes nuts in the back there he's just swimming up the air bubbles I don't know why but he does and uh, we got a really nice catfish in there um, somewhere I don't know where he's under the rock there at the bottom in the middle but I uh, just wanted to share this with y'all. My kids enjoy it, and I thought maybe you would too. But also wanted to do a quick update. I've gotten a lot of orders today on TomsGoldDirt.com. And so uh, that, that said, I'm going to just keep it posted as closed right now. But like I said, if you guys need something, get a hold of me. And I'll do my best to get something shipped out to you uh, right away. Uh, my patrons are going to have something coming out to them shortly as well. Um, kind of just been bogged down with work work. You know, this is more of a hobby for me and, and uh, as it is for you guys. So uh, I'm going to try to get better with the YouTube stuff, too. I want to post a lot of different stuff, a bigger variety of things. And, uh, you know, this here is a beautiful backdrop for this video. Um, I'm sure you can actually see my reflection in the, in the, can or in the, in the glass there. But, yeah, I just wanted to share my, my little fish aquarium with you guys this is actually for my kiddos the blue one's my oldest sons the green one there the neon green one in the back is my youngest sons the purple one that the neon green one's chasing which is also a danio it's like a pinkish purple uh, that's my daughter's and then the pink tetra is my wife so um, it's kind of a family affair or I've made it into that it's something they love to watch um, especially when we drop in the floating food they attack it like like any other animal on earth would and and it's just amazing that they in, a, in an aquarium um you can still befriend them so to speak if i put my hand uh, close to the glass they come to it they they will follow it up to the tank lid where um, they know that they're waiting um, on food uh, but it's pretty interesting that uh, they one i'm not a big fan of captive animals um, and this is a deaf but this is definitely that. However, these are all bred in captivity, raised in captivity, etc., etc. Bought from a fish store that bought them from a, you know, a fish farm, and, and so on and so forth. So these fish have never experienced what it's like to live in the wild. So I guess I have less of a problem with that, and giving them a home here, and taking good care of them, feeding them very well. But uh, you guys have a great day. I just wanted to share this with you, and I'll see you on the next one.